So recently, I did a video about putting things that the community made on the shelves behind me. Well, these are a few things that were sent in and we're gonna check them out today. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. So like I said, after this video right here, a few people in the community have started sending in their projects. And I am super excited to dive in here and see what they sent. Right away, I wanna say this one right here is from David Wilson. This one right here looks like it's from Paul Feeney. And this one is from one of the Council of Andrews, Andrew Rogers. If you're one of those three gentlemen, thank you so much for sending this stuff in. I cannot wait to see what's in these boxes. Let's do it. So I think today we're gonna start with the smallest box and work our way to the biggest. I don't know why I just decided that. So uh, David Wilson and Andrew, we're gonna set you right over here. Paul, we're starting with you. So I got my trusty knife here. Let's cut this bad boy open and see what Paul sent in. I really appreciate uh, anything being sent. I'm, I'm super excited to see what actually was sent in because I wanna put some awesome stuff on the shelves. If you're looking to send anything in, I got a knife, so I'm looking down. Wow, there we go. <laughs> Took me a minute to cut that one, Paul. All right, if you're looking to send something in, we'll throw the address in the description below. And I'm gonna pop this bad boy open. Whoosh. So, it looks like there's a little more tape that I missed. I pop this thing open and there's a note. I print very good with filament. This print came out very well. The model was by Sid Neek. I am probably saying that wrong. I say that wrong every time on Hot Makes too. I am so sorry. Sid Neek. We're gonna go with that. Printer was the new talking printer WizMaker P1. The Arion gray filament. It's a 0.5 nozzle, 0.1 layer height. Thank you so much, Paul Feeney. So in the box, we got a couple of things. So let's pop this bad boy open. Love the bubble wrap, Paul. Love the bubble wrap. Man, this looks amazing. That is the uh, bottom of a bust and Paul was not wrong. This print is absolutely gorgeous, Paul. Nice work. Well, I'm curious, what do we got on the top half? Uh, this was a Sid Neek model. Someone correct me in the comments below. I know I'm saying that wrong and I apologize greatly. All right, let's pop a little head on there. There we go, look at that. Now that is pretty dang awesome. This is a great bust. It's obviously blown up. Um, I don't think he said, <laughs> whoa, we got a head falling. <laughs> we, this is obviously blown up. I don't think he said how big this was. He just said it was an Arion gray filament, 0.5 nozzle, 0.1 layer height on the WizMaker P1. This absolutely looks awesome, Paul. For now, Paul, I'm gonna set your bust right here, right there in the shot. Paul Feeney, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Ooh, I love how that light's hitting it too. It's like bam, right in the background. Like it's, like it's staring at me. Box number two comes to us from Andrew Rogers. Thank you so much, Andrew. I can't wait to see what you shot over. Uh, don't forget, if you want to send something, it does not have to be 3D printed. It can be any maker thing you want. So as long as it's appropriate, we'll get it either on one of these videos uh, and or on Hot Makes as well. All right, here we go. Pop this open. Ooh, we have a note. Jim, thought you could use one of my new classic chess rooks for the display of your new studio. It's been scaled up 450% and printed in Greengate 3D Black Raspberry Recycled PETG. I love Greengate 3D, I love the Recycled PETG, and this color is phenomenal. Um, infill is minimal, so it should be pretty translucent if lit properly. I'm gonna have to get some lights. As a bonus, I've thrown in one of the print in place fidget maker coins for funsies. <laughs> for funsies. Keep up the great work, Andrew Rogers, Council of Andrews member 0008. 
So member number eight, Council of Andrews. Thank you so much, Andrew. All right, let's 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 check this out. Uh, let's, let's start with the fidget print in place toy here. Has an AR on it for Andrew Rogers, I'm assuming. And it has silver sunbeam around the whole outside. I believe that's Andrew's business, silver sunbeam. And this thing spins so good. Nice work. I believe he designed this himself. Let me know, Andrew, in the comments below. Um, this thing spins really, really nice. You can hear it probably in the microphone. And it's a very nice print. I absolutely love this idea. Uh, tolerances are great. Whatever you printed this on, nice work. So we'll put that there. And the piece of resistance, this is the Rook. This is absolutely awesome. It is light. It is very translucent. Man, this print is really nice too, Andrew. Uh, it looks like you did the seam all in one place along the back, so that's really awesome. This looks so good. Andrew, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I think I'm gonna toss this one on this side today. Andrew, thank you so much for the print. I really appreciate it, man. It's gonna live up here. I don't know if it'll live on that side uh, very long or I'm just gonna light it maybe from the bottom to really show it off. But thank you so much. It means a lot and uh, I'm probably going to play with this all night on hot mix coming up on Monday. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. On to box number three, this one right here. Now, I've had this for a little while, and uh, it is from David Wilson. I do know what's in this one, and I'm so excited to get it out and share it with you. So, David, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, thank you for sending stuff. I mean, this, this is the second item of this genre that you've sent me. Um, I really, really appreciate that. And I hope I get to meet you someday. Um, maybe Murph. Hopefully you get to Murph this year or something. That would be awesome. If you've been checking out David's channel at all, I'm going to pop that in the description below. Um, he's been talking about these for a while. If you are a knife maker or a maker of the, uh, I don't know, forging world, shoot me over a knife. I would love to see that. And I'll definitely promote you. And David has packed this thing very, very well, probably because of how incredibly fragile it probably is. David, I love the reuse of uh, spool boxes. Um, it looks like you like a lot of the GS3D spool. I've never used it, black edition. But very good idea to pack your boxes with boxes. I mean, I can tell you this, he has his machines dialed in. They are, it's, it's looking good. Now this is battery driven. He asked me if I would like USB or battery driven and because I don't know what I'm gonna do yet um, with power on the shelves here, I told him uh, battery driven. Oh, look at this. And he also sent some extra hands. All right, so David, this thing looks phenomenal. You, the gears look amazing. It looks like it's put together uh, very well. Uh, I know you're having so much fun with these clocks and I'm gonna dive into your email with the instructions, get this thing uh, set with time. And I think it might even have to be uh, calibrated. I can't remember if you said you calibrated it or not, but it is so cool. I can see it's going back and forth. Um, it uses a little magnet down here to keep the pendulum swinging. And as you can see, the little uh, red, there you go, the red hand right here moves, tink, tink, tink. So I'm gonna get this thing set for the proper time. Um, it makes a really cool noise, by the way. Uh, I think this thing is super cool with the black and the orange look, which is really cool looking. Um, I love the gray bottom face and the white clock face. Everything just pops so nicely, David. Thank you so much. This thing is awesome. Uh, I cannot wait to get it tuned and dialed in uh, the way it's actually supposed to be working. I'm gonna check out your email right after this video, but I think before that, we need a place for it. And David, I think it is tall. So you are gonna get right here in the spotlight. I am super pumped about this thing. Thank you so much, David. Thank you for all the time that you put into this. And uh, I can't wait to enjoy this thing and have an actual clock in the studio, man. Thank you, thank you. 
I'm so pumped to have these things on the shelf and I am so grateful that you guys would make something and send it in. If you would like to have something put on the shelves and seen in a video like this, check out the address in the description below, make something awesome and send it over. I'll get it on a video like this or on Hot Makes Live on Monday nights or on both like you're about to see with these awesome pieces here. Thank you all in the community for embracing this. I can't wait to see what else comes. Andrew, Paul, and David, thank you guys again. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being such great members of the community, and I'm proud to show your works of art off right here at the Edge of Tech Studios. For everybody else, let's see what you got. Send it in. I can't wait to see it. Keep printing.